Hey guys, this week we're at Dinosaur National Monument and this is really exciting. This place is so big that it's in two different states. It's in Utah and Colorado. And yes, we're gonna see some dinosaur bones. And another thing that's exciting, we're parked, we're camped inside the park. Yes, no hookups though, but we're ready. So stick around as we show you around Dinosaur National Monument. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Stacy. I'm Tom and we're RV Texas y'all. We are native Texans and full-time RVers who are all about exploring the great state of Texas and beyond one campground at a time. We're on a mission to experience life, not just live it, and we're bringing you along for the fun. In 2018, we sold our house, our business, and got rid of most everything we owned to hit the road and see America. Our home is a 33-foot RV named Freedom. We installed an extreme solar and lithium setup, so now we can just about live anywhere with our dog Star and our cat Astro. Every day is a new adventure, so join us as we RV America, y'all. So Dinosaur National Monument actually has two visitor centers. This is the Quarry Visitor Center. It's in Utah, and this is where you want to come to catch the shuttle to take you to see actual dinosaur fossils that they have found and still are here in the park. This guy behind us actually has a pretty interesting story as well. This is a Stegosaurus, and he is one of nine life-size dinosaurs that were uh, done by an artist for the 1964 World's Fair for Sinclair Dino Land. After the World's Fair was over, they uh, loaded up the nine dinosaurs, took them around the country on a tour on flatbed trailers, and this one made his home here. And uh, just a few years ago, they repainted him to his original World's Fair colors. So you can come see a Stegosaurus here at the Quarry Visitor Center. <laughs> until the shuttle comes to a complete stop. You can start your visit to the Cory exhibit hall by walking up the ramp and entering the second floor doors. Food, drinks other than water, smoking, and pets are not allowed inside. Rangers are available to answer any questions you may have, and ranger programs are scheduled throughout the day. Have a safe and enjoyable visit to Dinosaur National Monument. Most people visit Dinosaur National Monument to see the dinosaur fossils, there are many other things to see and do here. For example, you could drive the 10-mile Tug Creek Road using a self-guided booklet. This tour will take you to Petroglyphs, views of the Green River, and Josie Morris's homestead cabin. You can pick up a booklet in the visitor center. There are also several hiking trails to explore. Ask a ranger for information on monument hiking trails. During the heat of the summer, hiking is safest in the early morning or evening when temperatures are cooler. Always carry water when exploring Dinosaur National Monument. If 
Grand Vista is a solitude appeal to you. Consider visiting the Harpers Corner Road and the Colorado portion of the monument. The Harpers Corner Road begins two miles east of Dinosaur, Colorado, and the 62-mile round trip road features views of the Uinta Basin and rugged river canyons. The short trail from the end of the Harpers Corner Road is a great hike that ends at a dramatic overlook. If you have a hike clearance vehicle, the drive to Echo Park will take you into the heart of Dinosaur's Canyon Country. Ask a ranger if you have any questions about places to visit. So Dinosaur National Monument actually runs a free shuttle. You don't need tickets or anything. Runs all day long from the time the visitor center opens in the morning. Takes you from the visitor center up to the quarry where you can see the dinosaur bones. Very cool and a great views along the way. So we did want to mention at the Dinosaur Quarry Visitor Center, um, there is RV parking. So if you're just coming through for the day and you want to see the Dinosaur Quarry, which is phenomenal, a lot of dinosaur bones, um, you can just drive your RV in and park it right over here. And so that's pretty darn convenient. A lot of people have done it. Okay, so we just had dinner at Vernal Brewing and they're kind of in transition right now. they they're got a new brewmaster coming in. Uh, so several of their beers they didn't have, but the one I had was very, very good. It was a dark beer. That's what I always get now. I love that. Um, the food was interesting. I mean, it was good, but it was very different. It wasn't both Stacy and I, what we ordered, wasn't exact what we got, wasn't what we thought we were going to get. I mean, it was what we ordered, but it was just kind of in a different way. Um, so, no, I mean, it was good. I had a great root beer float to end it, and our service here was terrific. I mean, the server was incredible. So, yeah, I'd recommend it. The inside is really a cool place. It looks brand new. Maybe it is. I don't know. But, yeah, glad we came. Today, we're taking the Sound of Silence Trail. It's a 3.2 mile loop, uh, semi-difficult they say, and we're starting early because it's during the summer and it can get hot during the day. So let's go. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> wow. We just finished the Sound of Silence Trail. We did it in a little over three hours. 
just remember that, of course, we're filming and stuff, but we're taking our time. You might be able to do it a little bit quicker. So there are so many different time frames available in the rocks here in Dinosaur National Monument. And we've been waiting for this behind us to be lit up so that hopefully the camera could capture it. This is part of the Morrison Formation, which was a huge uh, geological uh, formation back during the age of the dinosaurs. And actually it says these date between 140, 146 to 158 million years ago. And now we're going to do something we've been driving by. We are going to go see some petroglyphs here at the Swelter Shelter. Parking is right here on the main park road. And we're just a few feet away from the Petroglyphs. What a beautiful day. Oh my gosh, stunningly beautiful. It's about 86 degrees right now. This is uh, August 6th and it's uh, about 1230. So no humidity, no humidity. I love that. <laughs> We've been passing by because every time we come by this area, there's people here looking at the petroglyphs. So we wanted to give you a, a good unobstructed view. Approximately a thousand years ago, the Fremont people lived in this area. They left evidence of their presence as pictogra uh, petroglyphs, patterns chipped or carved into the rock, pictographs, patterns painted on the rock. The designs here at the Swelter Shelter are both. Gosh, I hope you can see it. <laughs> okay so this afternoon we decided to get out and get a burger and just to let you know there's no concessionaires in the park at all unlike some national parks and stuff so this donnie's is the closest place to our campground it's 11 miles from our campground to here so we're going to give it a try Oh my gosh, y'all, when you were passing down here on uh, Highway 40, here in Jensen, Utah, you go to see Dinosaur National Monument, you have to stop and eat at Donnie's. This is a family owned and operated restaurant. Absolutely delicious. One of the best burgers we've had in a very long time. Locally raised beef handmade patties the burgers are a half pound patty you can add whatever you want to them and hand cut fries just fresh tea absolutely perfect can't say enough great things about them you got to come to donnie's while you're here yep we're on our way to the Canyon Visitor Center, um, and it is in Colorado. So we're going into Colorado today. We'll be in two states, more than once. <laughs> Pretty cool.
Okay, today we came to the Canyon Visitor Center of Dinosaur National Monument. They also have a stamp. So, we're going to add that to the book. So now we have stamps from here in Jensen, Utah and Dinosaur, Colorado. Yeah, this is the Colorado side. Yeah, it's considered the canyon side. The canyon side of Dinosaur National Monument. And totally different. Totally different, but beautiful as well. Crazy. And it looks like much less visited. So if you want to see things that a lot of the visitors to Dinosaur don't see, come to the canyon side here in Colorado. Yep, here we go. I don't think there's any way the camera is going to capture how massive this formation is. This is Sunrise Overlook and behind Tom I'm seeing for miles and miles and miles and behind me we've got this beautiful rock formation. Amazing. There's a nice breeze up here too. And we're in Colorado. Colorado. Dinosaur National Monument. Colorado side. Just like that, we're headed back into Utah, to the Utah side of Dinosaur National Monument. <laughs> So we are super excited because ranger programs are back in our national parks. And tonight we're gonna try to go to two. The first one is happening here in a few minutes, right here in our camping loop. And it's gonna be up about the Fremont peoples who lived here once upon a time. And then after that, we're gonna try to go over to the other campground, the Split, Mo Split Mountain Group Campground, where they're gonna be doing a stargazing party with telescopes. So, fingers crossed we can make both, but we're definitely hitting the Fremont one now. We're on our way over. Wow, what a great ranger program. Thank yeah. you, Ranger Jake. That was yeah. awesome. I, about the Fremont culture and wow. I mean, was he knowledgeable? Unbelievable. He hadn't been here that long, but the Fremont people were here from 300 to 1300. For so a thousand it, years. Yeah, and they were all over Utah. So very fascinating make sure when you're in these national parks that you come to the ranger programs it adds so much to yeah the experience. they're extremely knowledgeable uh he definitely was it it was crazy at the facts that he knows about that uh it blows me away i'm, I'm glad they're back absolutely welcome to our campsite here at the green river campground 
and Dinosaur National Monument on the Utah side. <laughs> this has been a great base camp for exploring the monument. Um, you're about 30 minutes from the nearest large-ish town with grocery store and fuel and everything in Vernal. Um, but this is a dry camping campground. Um, there are three loops, A, B, and C, not, none of which are very large. There's not a ton of campsites in here, so you don't feel like it's congested. It's very quiet. Uh, the roads are paved. Uh, but it is all dry camping. There are no hookups here in Dinosaur National Monument. Um, the thing to know with that is it gets very hot here during the summer. This is early August and it has been 95 degrees plus every day in the afternoon. So if you're going to come here and camp, you got to be prepared for that. But we have absolutely loved it. Now because of the heat, we've had to manage our resources differently than we did in Flaming Gorge where we just came from. That was significantly higher in elevation and so therefore cooler. Um, but if you have not seen the video where we talked about, we chronicled our nine straight nights, kind of 10 days of dry camping in Flaming Gorge and Dinosaur National Monument. We did a separate video on that and if you haven't seen it, I'll link that in the description so you can see more about boondocking in these parks and our experiences uh, but no we have really loved it site number 48 here we actually chose it specifically for its lack of shade because we wanted to really use the solar as much as possible there are several campsites here in the park I'd say most of them probably give you really good shade so if that's what you're looking for you're covered we have a a uh, really long pull-through site. Again, this is site 48. Uh, there are a few other pull-through sites here in the campground. A lot of them are back in. Um, and our door opens to the street side. These are one-way roads, but that's no big deal for us. Now, the other reason, or the other perk, I guess, of having a no-shade site is this is an international dark sky park. And so we were able to sit outside and enjoy the stars and the beautiful night skies every night. One night it was cloudy, uh, but other than that, we saw shooting stars right here from our campsite. It was awesome. Because we had no shade, we did set up our clam to give us some shade. But this site also came with a picnic table and a fire pit. We're about five miles from the Quarry Visitor Center here in the uh, Green River Campground. It is right on the Green River, so you do have river access from here. Uh, they did the uh, uh, ranger programs at night right here in the campground and yeah it is just i can't say enough great things about dinosaur national monument we have really really loved it absolutely put this on your list of places to visit now up next we're going to colorado so make sure you're subscribed because oh my gosh we're looking ahead and it's going to be a ton of fun so we'll see you over there until next time y'all safe travels and happy camping Bye.